And I'm joined now by the former A4E chairman and the company's main shareholder, Emma Harrison. Thank you for Hello. joining us tonight. What do you have to say to the people in Jackie Long's film and lots of others like them who say they were failed by A4E while you were paying yourself another quarter of a million pound dividend? Can I just say that a lot of the details you have in that are wrong. And last time you did a piece, you were wrong, and you were proved to be wrong, and you've got it wrong again. Which I numbers are wrong? I cannot recognise the numbers that you're talking about. And I know that A3 are very specifically, because I'm not a director anymore, have given you and told you that those numbers are wrong. You're which wrong. number specifically is right. wrong? Now, now there's, there's, there's one Kristen, key number here, Kristen, which is that only 4% of right. people in the first year right. found employment. Okay. Are you saying that's wrong? Do you know about the work programme, how it works. That, Let me just be uh, really, no, no, really no. clear. You, you said our numbers the are work, wrong. Let's work out work which program. number you say is wrong. Do you deny that in the first year, only 4% of your clients Kristen, found work? Right. A3 have told you your numbers are wrong. They don't recognise those they numbers. They haven't said they're wrong, actually. Yes, Their they have. Quite clear. It doesn't say they're wrong. They have. Well, are you saying they're wrong? They're wrong. Which number is wrong? All of are you are denying wrong. that You've in the got... first year, only 4% of your clients found work? Is that right or you wrong? You have got all the numbers wrong. Is that right or wrong, the 4% number? All your numbers are wrong. So that you're claiming that is wrong? Yes. What was it then? I don't know. I know that those numbers are wrong. Are I've you been saying it was wrong. more than 4%? Kristen, you're really going to have to stop bullying me. I'm not bullying you. You were bullying me before. People I have been making up. People been, let's be quite clear about this. You've been making up stories for a long, long time now, having a go. It's quite political. You want to have a go at the work programme and you're using me to do it. Making it's up stories really, is quite an allegation. It's really got to if, stop. If, if you're saying yeah. our numbers are wrong, here is an invitation to tell us which numbers broadcast tonight are wrong. Be really, really wrong. clear. I don't have those numbers. I'm not the chairman anymore. So I don't how do you know the they're numbers. wrong? Because A4E have shown me that the numbers you were going to say, they're all wrong. A4E has not, tonight, told us they are wrong. They have said they do not recognise the numbers. Right. And that they, are, wrong they are out of date. They I have not said that they are wrong. You, but you were wrong before and you're wrong this okay. time. Why uh, did you take another £250,000 right. dividend I, when, okay. you're, you're, when you are not even meeting the minimum target? The government says... Let me finish my question. The government says if you did nothing with unemployed people, you would expect five out of every hundred to find a job. Right. Kristen, I you just didn't you. even meet that. You were worse than doing nothing. Kristen, Why did you take a £250,000 dividend last your year? Your figures are wrong. You were wrong before and it's been proved that you were and you're wrong. Now, let me explain. All right, look, let me tell you. We're not going to agree on I, who, whether the figures are right or wrong. Right, let right. me explain. Let me I ask you, invested, why did you take the dividend? I have invested... £50 million pounds in the success of the work programme. I have done that, right? I remortgaged my house to do it because I totally you believe... You invested £50 million. £50 million. Where did you get the £50 million the £50 from? million pounds have been from invested From taxpayers' money, wasn't it? I have been running a company for 25 years in which I've invested tens of millions of pounds. A company runs all over the world. We win contracts, we make a small profit, and I reinvest that money. That's where I've been going for it, including the mortgage on my house. Kristen, you got this so wrong. You got me so wrong. No, no one is disputing your personal success in the past. I'm asking you very specific questions about why you paid yourself a £250,000 dividend in a year when you were clearly because failing to meet the basic target the set by the contract. I run a successful business. I get paid dividends like this other This was not successful, was it? It's a si how, how is program, four out of 100 program. people successful? I've, denied, I've said those figures aren't right. But you're unable to substantiate that. You're unable to tell us whether it's more or less. You know what? These figures Kristen, it have been matter. obtained by our social affairs editor, Jackie Long. They're very clear. They right. show that less the than last... 4% of your clients in the first year of the work programme got jobs. What really, really matters is that through the work programme, tens of thousands of people are getting jobs. That's what really matters. Well, real people and real families. Yes, they are. And I'll tell you something else that I am an entrepreneur who's invested tens of millions. And the other thing AFRI has done is helped 2,000 people set up in their own business. You seem to okay. miss all of this stuff because you have a certain bias on this thing and you're missing all the well, reality Well, there are very it. specific allegations placed in Jackie Long's film by people who have been clients of A4E. I'm very, very what sorry that What do you say they they to that happy. gentleman? I'm very, very sorry he wasn't happy with the service. I'm really sorry and I really hope that he'll use the fantastic Customer Connect system we have if he has any problems and contact he, them. He said he got about 15 minutes in a yeah. meeting. It's, now, is 15 minutes a month enough it, to help a long-term unemployed 
person it's, find a job? It's a very improbable statement. You don't believe him? It's a very improbable statement. There are certain well, no, requirements... Let's just, let's just okay. say it clearly. You're saying you don't believe his statement to us that he had about 15 minutes I couldn't possibly say what he had. Because that's something lots of other clients of A4E say. We've had lots of other people say similar things. And then us. I know thousands and thousands of clients who've got fantastic jobs and they've helped improve the lives of their families as well. You know thousands of people who got jobs in the last year? Thousands of people have got... Do you, do you know how many jobs A4E have found for people over the many, many years? Let's just talk about the work programme. I don't want to talk about history. I want to talk about the work programme, okay. which is the thing that you've been paying okay, uh, £46 thing I'd like to talk million about, pounds for. You know, I'd like to talk about something. I'd like to talk about the fact that only six months ago you accused my company of fraud, and that was proved to be not true. But you've never reported on that. Where's the bias we, coming we, we from? We didn't accuse you of fraud. You, we, we, you we made have, an enormous article. We have reported allegations made against A4E, as is our responsibility as a news broadcaster. And guess what? We and have not accused proved, you of fraud. Once they were proved to be not true did you make a big have, splash we, we have not we have said tonight yeah. right at the beginning of our program yeah. that the fraud allegations are not what we're talking about that you, you have really, cleared up a lot of all of that you really in the past. Have to, so I we have are to not think, talking about fraud tonight are you in we're talking about value for money value for money okay for every pound the taxpayer spends they get two pounds back it's been proved that that's how these programmes The taxpayer work. spent £46 million on A4E's contract that in one is, year. That figure is not... And for that, it got less than four out of 100 people jobs. We've never heard of that figure before. It's another figure that you've been given that's not true. Well, can you tell us how much you got then? No, I can't. I'm not involved. All, all you can tell us is that you got a quarter of a million pounds. You said that you wanted me to come in here and talk about the impact that all this bullying... I was bullied out of a job that I've been doing for 25 no, years. No, we didn't. You asked me to come in and talk we, about that. We asked you to come yes, in and talk did. about the work programme 25 and A4E's years, record and your record I was on bullied A4E. out of a job, my staff have been bullied, and you know what's worse? Because of the reporting you did, my children were bullied, right? This is the impact that this sensationalist, untrue reporting has had, and I really, really think that it's time that this bullying stopped. And you know, bullying entrepreneurs, someone like me who's invested tens of millions and employed thousands of people, you know, it's not good for the UK. Nobody is bullying you. We are putting legitimate questions based on legitimate data about a force performance with public money. Millions, tens of millions of public money. Yeah, and tens of which, millions that I've invested well, too. And, yeah. and a lot of that money has gone to you personally. That is why you were the subject of all those newspaper reports earlier in the year. Not because of bullying, but because you revealed that you paid yourself multi-millions of pounds in dividends. After all that money was government money, it was taxpayers' money yeah. paid to you to produce results. And what we've shown tonight Kristen, you is that in the view. first year of the work yeah. programme, you failed to produce results. No, you haven't shown that at all. Those figures are not true. Well, you have not shown you were wrong before you and are you're at odds with A4E. Now, now A4E, you're wrong now. A4E on its website says... A4E is a different company from the one it was two years ago. That's when you were running it. Why do you think they're saying that? Because we've been through the most extreme audits you've ever seen to prove that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that business. They are distancing they're themselves from when vigilant. you were in charge. They're saying we are a different company from the one it was they're two years ago. You can read it how you want, right? a 3 is a wonderful company full of amazing people who do amazing things every single day to transform people's lives. And I'm incredibly proud of the organisation that I've built over 25 years. Do you think you were set up to fail? Which is the biggest substantive point about the work programme. No. Because what a lot of the experts are saying is that you don't have enough money. You've promised to do something. You get £400 when somebody signs up to your work programme. That is clearly not enough to find a job for a long-term unemployed person, even if you sign them all up and only help a small proportion. I so, can tell so you, so the question if you really is, want to, I'm, I've been doing this This is being years. rolled out all over the place and to other, other public services as yeah. well. This can't work, can it, the way it's set Kristen, up? you know the work programme, do you really want to know, right? Do you really want to listen well, I'm to asking the, the work programme, yes. right? is the most successful programme that we've ever run, right? It really is making a difference to thousands of people's lives because it's more flexible, because we can really work with people individually. It is so different to what's run before, and it's payment by results. We get paid when we do something good for somebody, yeah. and I've always advocated okay. for that. Finally, always, always. You, you, you've apologised to one person tonight, the, the, the gentleman in our no, no, I'm report. I'm to both people. Is there anyone else? OK, you've apologised to both people in our report. Is there anyone else you would like to apologise to tonight? You know what makes me a bit sad in all of this? That my staff were bullied 
and it's very, very upsetting after 25 years and those wonderful people to see what they went through from false allegations and from this sensationalist stuff that happened because we were like caught in this political maelstrom. I'm a useful face for the politics people to have a go at. I'm not a politician, I'm not a civil servant, I'm not experienced in this stuff, but I was really useful to have a go at. And they used me and my organisation and I stepped down as the, as the chairman, which is still incredibly upsetting because it's something I love doing. When I meet people in the street and they say, oh, I recognise you, your lot got me that job. I'm now working at Marks and Spencer's. It's transformed my life. I bloody love the work okay. I do. And I was... I'm sorry. I and, I, no, listen, I, I, listen. I, I, no, no, no. We, we've, we've, we've spent a lot of time on this tonight. Um, when, the, when the DWP published the accurate, their versions of the figures, will you come back on and discuss them? Because you say we're wrong. Will you come back on then? I don't discuss DWP stuff. Okay. I'm sure someone from somebody else could. All yeah. right. Emma Harrison, thank you very much for okay, coming on tonight. Okay, thank you.